Now let's go this question too. Now this question is lacking a volume. A small metal ball block is 12 cm long, 6 cm high, and 4 cm wide. It is lacking a volume. How are you going to get a volume here? We have the mass and we have to determine our density in kilogram per cubic meter. Meanwhile, we have our volume terms in cm cube. Now that is the first thing to do. So we will convert this length to meter. Just divide by 100, 0 0.12 meter. Now the breadth is the, how wide it is. That will give you 0 0.06 meter after conversion. And the height, 4 centimeter will also produce 0 0.04 meter. That's when you divide over 100. Now, I can get my volume here. Volume is defined as length times breadth times height. Now the length is 0 0.12 meter. The breadth is 0 0.06 meter. And the height is 0 0.04 meter. So this will give me 2.88 times 10 to the power minus 4. Meter, meter, meter will give you meter what? Q. Okay. Uh, please check. 0 0.12 by this will give you 2.88 for 10 raised to the power minus 4, right? Good. So meter, meter, meter will give you meter what? Q. So that is the volume. Now I've been asked to determine the density. Density equals mass over volume. Now my mass is 1.5 kilograms. So you'll be computing something here. And my volume is 2.88 times 10 to the power minus 4 meter cube. Now what is going on here? When you are dealing with standard forms, when you are punching the calculator, put them in brackets, right? Now, what will my answer be? 1.5 divided by this. 1.5 divided by 2.88 power minus 4. Please compute that. Okay. So, that is uh, in decimals. SD. Okay, so that is 5208.3. Point, point what? Three. Three, three. Yeah. Okay. Recurring. So recurring, three, three, right? Now what's something here? There is kilograms. There is a partition sign. There is meter cube. Yes. I've really worked and leave, left my answer as required. So that is it. Oh, still on physics for non-science students or what you call integrated science. Now let's look at it. We have the same things in pure physics too, right? Since they are all physics. Now a metal cube of mass 15 kilograms measures 0 0.2 meter. Calculate the density. I have the mass, I need a volume. This cannot be a volume. I told you a volume term should be meter cube or cm cube. Good. So why don't I draw my cube? So it measures 0 0.2 meter. So 0 0.2 meter here, 0 0.2 meter at the width, 0 0.2 meter also at the height. So there is height, there is breadth, and there is length. Good. So it means I can get my volume from this length times breadth times height. Please always take note. Why did I say the size of the cube are the same? A cube has four sides, all sides equal. That is a cube. A rectangle will have two opposite sides equal. Whether this side and that side, or the left and right. But for cube, it's the same, it's a square. Good. So I have 0 0.2 meter, 0 0.2 meter by 0 0.2 meter. So you have 0 0.008 mmmm3, that's meter cube. Or your answer can be 8 times 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube in any form. So take note. So in case you see questions like this, that is how we treat it. It measures 0 0.2. So this can never be a volume. All volume times must be meter cube or cm cubes. So that's also one way to check. Good. Now I'm supposed to calculate its density. Now density. 
is given by mass over volume. Now, what is the mass here? 15 kilogram. That is 15.0. That is still 15, right? But for scripture reasons, I try to ignore the zero. So that under pressure, I will not consider that as 150 because it's still 15. Good. Now, that is meter cube. No wonder. So, my final answer, I will end up getting something in kg slash meter. Okay, so after computing this, we are going to get 1875 kilogram slash, there's a partition sign, meter cube. So, that's the answer. So, welcome to relative density. So, you see, relative density is the ratio of the density of a substance to the density of water. It's a ratio. That is how come it has no units. But they will cancel out. Now, these are the respective formulas we can be seeing in relative density. Density of soft or density of water, or it can be weight of soft or weight in water. Please, why is it always in comparison with water? The density of water is known. That is the value as 1000 kilogram per cubic meter, or 1 gram per cm cube. So, if the density of water is not in 1000 kilogram per cubic meter, it will be in the other subunit form, which is 1 gram per cm cube. The density of water is known. That is why something is always relatively compared to water. Welcome to relative density. Now, if you have the masses, you can also use this formula. Mass of substance, mass of water. Uptrust in substance, uptrust in water. So you look at the question where we have to use this formula. The uptrust in the substance and uptrust in water. Yes. So the formula of uptrust linking relative density is this, as you can see. So we are going to look at the question just now on this. Okay. So you are, you are welcome to the concept of relative density. As we saw in the definition, it is defined as the ratio of the density of a substance to that of water. Good. As we said, the density of water is always known. If it is not 1000 kg per cubic meter, it will be in the subunit form, whether it's 1 gram per cm cube, as we said earlier. Good. Now, define relative density. So what is relative density? That is it. And the second part, the density of a piece of stone is this. So I have density of stone. Anytime you get a physics question, the best thing for you to do is to list the things out. Please don't forget. Always list them out. It will make it very easy for you to solve. Determine its relative density. It means I don't know the relative density, question mark. But the density of water, I know. It was given. Density of water happens to be 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Now what is going on here? The units are the same. I don't need any conversion. But assuming one of them was in gram per cm cube, then I need to change the other to also look like gram per cm cube, or I maintain the kilogram and change the other gram per cm cube to kilogram per cubic meter. The volume times must be the same, masses the same, density units must be the same, so that we can cancel out. Because relative density has no units. So am I going to say mass of substance or mass of water? No. I have the density entities, so that is what I use. So there is density of stone over density of water. In case I have been provided with masses, I will be using masses. I am using density because that is what I have available. So density of stone, that is this. Density of water is 1000, same unit. That is why relative density has no units. Look at it. Yes. That's all, it has no units. It's a ratio, the units cancel out. So when you happen to get here, grab a cm cube, it means you have to change to look like this. Or change all to have the same pattern, grab a cm cube, grab a cm cube, or you go by kilogram per cubic meter, kilogram per cubic meter. Please take note. Good. Let's look at this sample question too. That was a repetition in years. So this question is based on that trust. Right from Archimedes' principle experiment, he weighed a stone in air and he decided to gently immerse the stone in liquid. And he realized that there is a loss in weight. When he immerse the same stone in water, he realized that the loss in weight in that liquid is different from that of water. So it means the water and the liquid they don't have the same densities, right? Or the uptrust in the water and liquid are different. Good. So a stone weighs 2.5 newton in air. That's very true. A raw stone in air weighs heavy, heavier. When you dip the same stone in water, the weight will not be as when you are holding it in air. Good. 
So a stone weighs 2.5 newton in air. So weight 